Hi, welcome to this Microsoft Fabric Warehouse episode. In this episode, I'm going to walk you through an intermediate SQL query for interviews by looking at a scenario based question. We're going to write an SQL to answer this question, and later on, we're going to use the same data set in the Power BI desktop to achieve the same result using a DAX language. So, let's get started. Now, in our question, we have the price and the cost columns in the DIM product table and the unit column in the F sales table. So we want to calculate the total sales and total cost by product and region. So in my model, I have the DIM product that contains the product, product ID, and then the price and the cost. And then in the region, I have the region and the region ID. And then in the F sales, the fact table, I have the units and the corresponding foreign keys. Let's write a query. First, let's see all the columns in the F transaction table. So I'm going to write select, press enter, tab key, star from the F sales. And let's run the, this is going to return all the rows in the F transaction table. Brilliant. Now let's go ahead and write our query. So first, I want to select the product and the region columns. So I'm going to get rid of the star and type in product comma region comma and then i'm going to use the sum function so we want to calculate the total sales and the total cost so i'm going to just type in units multiplied by the price now these are in different tables close the bracket and i'm going to call this one total sales i'm putting a comma and i need another sum function so i want to get the cost of goods so that is the total cost again i'm going to take the unit column multiply by cost now the cost is also in the dim product table so i can close the bracket and i'm going to call this one total cost and i can go on and use the inner join so i'm going to press enter backspace and i'm going to say hey inner join and let's start off with the first table the product table so i'm going to press enter tab key to make it more easier to read so i'm going to call the d product table now at this junction i'm going to alias this table with p for product and i'm going to alias this with f for fact sales so i'm going to come here and type in p dot and for this i'm going to alias this for now r for region and for the unit now the unit is actually coming from the f sales so f dot and then the price is also coming from the product table the p that is this dim product and i'm going to do the same thing here f dot and then this is going to be p dot okay so i'm going to use the on keyword so on and i'm going to call the f dot product id so where it is equal to p dot product id so this should be small letter p product id okay that's the first one and i'm going to press enter backspace and i'm going to provide a little energy again because we are dealing with the three tables the product table the region and then the f sales so in a join and press enter so press enter tab key and it's going to be d region and i'm going to alias this as r that i defined here and i'm going to use the on keyword and use the f dot region id where it is equal to r dot region id okay that's what i need to do for now and press enter so let me just move this down a little bit and press um, the back so i can use the group by clause so i'm going to provide a group by based on this column i specify so i'm going to copy this Control c let me just type in p here and i can Control v to paste all right so this looks good now i can see there's an error here so i'm going to get rid of this dot so i'm going to go ahead and use the order by clause so i want to order by the same pro product and the region now let me indent this i'm going to press enter tab key to make it easier to read press enter tab key i can even break this down into different lines so break it down all right so i'm going to do the same thing for this press enter so we have the two columns and then we have the sum of the price and the cost and then we have the from f sales and then we have the two inner joints for the dim product and the dim region so this is all i need to do so this is going to order the products in ascending order by default so i can go on and query this data so let me see the result i'm going to scroll up and let's see 
there we go so we have the product region and then we have the total sales and the total cost so this will return 80 rows and four columns let's see how we can achieve the same result in the power bi desktop i'm going to come to the power bi now i have the same f sales and then the dim region and the dim products so i'm going to come to the report canvas and i'm going to just right click and just create a new measure i'm going to call this one total sales equals let me just make this to be bigger all right and then i can use the sum x function this is going to iterate over the f sales table and put in a comma press enter tap 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 and i can even do the same thing here or enter okay let's continue here. so tap key and then i'm going to provide the calculation so i'm going to take the units and i'm going to multiply now in this case i'm going to use a function called the related that allows me to look for a value from another table so for this i'm going to go ahead and call the price column and then close the bracket alt enter backspace close the bracket and press enter so i have the total sales now in order to split this up i'm going to copy this code and create a new measure right click new measure and Ctrl V, so I'm going to call this one total cost and I'm going to just make changes to this and this should be cost, this is what I need to do and go ahead and press enter to commit okay, so we have the total sales and total cost let's apply the currency formatting to make it readable so I'm going to add the English United Kingdom GB pound so for the total sales, I'm going to come here and do the same thing okay, so I can grab the product column so i'm going to grab this across in the table and then i want to take the region so into the same table all right and i can take the total sales so i'm going to scroll down take the total sales in there and then i want to take the total cost in there and then switch back to table and then i'm going to come here and let me just move this up a little bit okay so i'm going to sort the product from a to z and we have the same results so we can see we have 19 million 24,790. so when i come here you can see we have the same 19 million 24,790, and the total cost is 15954790 so when you come here, you're going to see the same 15954790 so the same thing for the east we have the 70 million 921,000 plus when i come here we have the same 70 million 921,000 plus so this is how we can write the sql query and the power bi dax formula to calculate the total sales and total cost in the two engines i trust you enjoyed this video if you do like share comment and follow me for more videos thank you for watching bye for now